Tango, this one for your left base, 27 loss.
No, this is not, you know, clear sensor in airspace other than, you know, Charlie airspace because you're talking to approach control. Uh, unless you hear the words clear enter Bravo, then you can enter the Bravo airspace. Uh, you still need to call up Delta Towers and all that kind of stuff unless they, they specifically say you can unless they specifically say you can't go through it. So how do you do it? So you dial up your approach frequency you find on in, for the area in your chart supplement or on four flight, and you give them a call. It's going to sound something like this. Chicago approach, Skyhawk 5, 270 Golf Bay Bar with the quest off of Lewis. Off of Lewis, I did not hear the call. Who was it? Skyhawk 5, 270 Golf, crossing Bay Bar flight following from Lewis to Battle Creek at 5,500. We're 7 0 Golf, Squawk 5122. 5122, 7 0 Golf. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I just direct that. For the Delta, the uh, transponder code. 3449 Delta, Chicago. The transponder code in. 3999 Delta, Chicago. 3999 Delta, Chicago. 7 0 Golf, radar contact. 6 miles east of Lewis at 3000. The midway altimeter, 2999. Two nine 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 nine. I was wondering if we could get the Bravo clearance up to five five now. Uh, let me ask the next guy. Seven zero, Roger. If I could get a Bravo clearance, I'll just go direct. We're seven zero golf, but I know request Bravo airspace. I maintain five thousand five hundred. Five thousand five hundred seven zero golf. So if that's the case, I will just go direct Michigan City. Number 7 0 golf, contact approach 128.2. 128.2, 7 0 golf. Number 6 0. 6 0, Chicago approach, Sky 5270 golf, 3300 climbing, 5500 direct uh, Gary. 5270 Golf Project. Exigit 423 intercept the 30 level. All right, so what I just did there, I know that's really confusing. But uh, basically what I just did is I got a Bravo clearance so I can just climb my way up. We're about to enter the Bravo airspace. We, we heard clear enter the Bravo. 270 Golf Project. It's 670 Golf. Contact for 70 Golf. Put it in our request Bravo airspace. Fly maintain 5500. All right, so like I, I was just using the playback feature to, to ensure that I was cleared into the Bravo airspace. Approach Southwest 2893, 8,400 for 6,000, Romeo. For 2893, Sky Approach, expect runway 48. 48, Southwest 2893. Alright, so we're, I just put the off and we're in flight level change, went up to 5,500. Exit 423, maintain 2,500. 2,500, Exit 423. Delta 1741, connect approach 1935. 1935, good night, Delta 1741. Okay. So basically what I did there is I called approach. I asked him, you know, I told him, you know, who I am, uh, where I am, so I'm off of Lewis, you know, with a request. 4, 000, 000, and the reason I did that was because I wanted to uh, let him know that, hey, I w I'd like to fight following. And, you know, sometimes they don't have time to do that. So I just did, gave him a cold call real quick, you know, 7 0 golf, if I was request off of Lewis. And then he came back to me. And uh, we worked it out to where I, you know, told my intentions and I asked him for flight following. So maybe 5,500 won't work. See how high these clouds are. So as I'm climbing, I'm slowly lowering the nose, just so that way we, you know, because Lewis wants to keep us at a very high RPM, at a high RPM setting. 423 turning 280 and intercept, advising to get the field or it'll get the ILS. 
Okay, right turn three is going to join. We're still at 300 to go. 423, uh, 5 from Wasp, 2500 till established, cleared out of 30. All right, cleared approach, we do have your port side down. Okay, the visual approach, exit 423, kind of the tower on 125.6. 126, good day. Yeah. All right, 100 to go. The airplane, well, the autopilot should automatically level out. There it goes, 50 feet, and it's going to close down. And we will stay 500 feet below these clouds. Wonderful. Visibility is not so great up here, but you know what? This could be a great night to fly. Load off on that right rudder that I, was, I had in there. We're cruising. All right, so I calculated that we need to be at about 75% power, which is the break in, RP, break in power setting. I need about 2630 RPM. All right, so now we're just kind of cruising out here, just kind of hanging out. Chicago Approach UPS 9856, level 4000. We're on a 270 heading, requesting the RNAV 1-2. UPS 9856, Chicago Approach, Roger, uh, fly heading 310. 310, UPS 9856. It already needs to take the sunglasses off. That was... Is it the uh, Zulu or the Yankee one? Or, or than expected. Uh, it'll be the Yankee tonight. Ready. All right. And we're kind of cruised out here. It's really nice. There's not really much we can do. Because I can't lean the engine out because of the break-in. So right now, I'm just kind of monitoring the engine, monitoring all the systems, because you know this, this airplane was down for about six months waiting for an engine. GPS 98.56, turn 10 degrees to the left. 10 left, UPS 98.56. All right, and we have exited the Bravo. We're going to be, we don't have to talk to Gary because we're going to be above their airspace. Their airspace ends at 3,100 feet. And I'm at 5.5, five, so I do not have to worry about that. It's a good thing that on the way back I plan for 4 or 5 because that'll be a little bit nicer than the altitude on the uh, visibility. Yeah, so with flight following, I explained who I am, what I am, what I wanted to do. And he came back, he didn't hear my call sign, so then I let it all go, let him know everything I wanted. And then he gave me a transponder code, and then he uh, took us for flight following. That's the only downside of these hazy days is, well, one you can't see, but the upside is, is there's usually less traffic because it's a 9856, turn off thing 220, maintain 2200. Heading 220, 2200, UPS 9856. Number 5270, Golf, connect south bend 132.05. 3275 for 70 Golf. 13205. 13205 for 70 Golf, sorry about that. From you left the Chicago Broadway, so have a good night. Take care, 70 Golf. UPS 9856. 3205, he says. UPS 9850, from you left the Chicago Broadway. November 121 Golf Hotel, stop at approach, stop at altimeter 3000. No, the PS 9850 is from you left the Chicago Broward 3205. 5270 Golf, connect South Bend 132.05. South Bend approach, Skyhawk 5270 Golf 5500. Skyhawk 5270 Golf, stop at approach, stop altimeter 3000. Say your destination. 3000, we're going to Battle Creek for 70 Golf. 70 Golf, Roger, thanks.
Alright, so right now all we're doing Sky is we're going to... Sky 70 Golf, reset transponder, squawk 4305, 4305. 4305, reset 70 Golf. One Golf Hotel, would you like direct to Knox or do you want to continue to smooth first? Right now all I'm doing is I'm following this, the shoreline here. I don't want to go out over the lake because I don't have the proper equipment to do that. Whereas right now I could go right turn and go, if in the event of any problem, I could make a right no turn. Problem. No problem. And go inland. Or I could land on the beach. Oh, we've got a crossing right now. And it'll kind of move, slowly move towards the tailwind on the last leg here. We'll put back on nav mode now because we are now able to stay over the uh, line. Sky 7 0 Golf, traffic 1 to 2 o'clock, 4 miles eastbound, east northeast on 4,500, indicated unverified. Looking for traffic zones or golf. All right, so that's one feature of flight following. Is they told me that there's traffic off my off the uh, the right side. Four zero seven, up and thousand below. Contact climbing team one zero thousand. Turn right. I've got three, my ESP. Southbound approach. Good evening. Uh, Cherokee seven nine three one November eight north of Valpo. Come to South Bend. Cherokee 7931 November squawk 42. That's the guy that calls. It's calling. 425631 November. Sky 70 Golf, traffic no factor. 70 Golf. Approach 70 Golf. Sky 70 Golf, something, go ahead. Do you guys know if there's any parachuting in, uh, in progress over Michigan City? 70 Golf, currently, no, there's no parachute jumping. Thank you. Good looking out. Always, the hazy sunsets are always the most beautiful. Right, we're coming up on Michigan City, that'll be our final course turn. And then we're going straight for 35 minutes. As we'll do a VOR check while I'm up here. Southwest 188, southbound approach, southbound altimeter 3000, four right transition. Oh man, you can see the waves. All right, let's see how the cylinder head temperatures are doing. Because it does run warm. And you have the braking oil in because it's not as, oh, it's not as lubricating or cooling effect. So I'm just making sure that we're at Reasonable temperatures. All right. So the reason why I asked South Bend if there was parachute operations in progress because I didn't know, and it's a good idea to ask because it's on the chart. Why not? Why not make sure that you're not going to, you know, smack into somebody? But as the sun sets and it gets darker up here, I'm slowly turning more and more lights down. I gotta just turn my iPad all the way down. I'm slowly, you know, turning on the pedestal lights and the, uh, what should I call it? I'm slowly turning off the, uh, or turning down the lights in here. I'm going to go right tank for a little bit. 
Southwest 188, contact Chicago Approach 128.2. Have a good night. Uh, one guy's working a lot of airspace. Approach here. Do it over the VFR defense now. Air 3 November, Roger, contact Tower 135.67. Have a good night. What is the tower now? 67, good night. Here, D3 November. Oh, I stand corrected. The, uh, the winds became more of a crosswind. Nothing wrong with that. There are 64 miles to destination. Either in 32 minutes. Or probably a little faster. 76, top of the first, top of altimeter 3000, runway 4 right. Right, Vesner's contact, give information, Victor. Side Creek Airport information, Victor, 0053 Zulu, observation 1280 at 4, visibility 10, ceiling 6,000 broken, temperature 22, dew point 18, altimeter 3001. First runway 23, right, Vesner's contact, give information, Victor. Side Creek Airport information, Victor, 0053 Zulu, observation 1280 at 4, visibility 10, ceiling 6,000 broken, temperature 22, dew point 18, altimeter 3001. Side Creek Airport information, Victor, 0053 right, Vesner's contact, give information, Victor. Operation 1280 at 4, visibility 10, ceiling 6000 broken, temperature 22, dew point 18, altimeter 3001. Expect a visual approach to runway 23 right, Vesner's contact, give information, Victor. 23 right, and we have Victor. I love sunset flights, they are so awesome. Air 5270 Golf, contact Great Lakes Approach, 121.2. 121.2 for 70 Golf. Great Lakes Approach, Sky 5270 Golf, 5500. Sky 5270 Golf, Great Lakes Approach, Cal Mizzou, Altimeter 3000. 3000 for 70 Golf. Currently flying over to Wajiak. Alrighty guys, a little life update while we're quiet here. Um, I did my first flight in the multi as an MEI. Uh, flew with the instructor. Took it 65 Delta Charlie, Great Lakes, tell me to do up to number 3000. I did to get, uh, with him to get his cross country time done. So that's what we did, we went out for a quick flight, we, it was a... Uh, 1.7 cross-country flight, Lewis to Valparaiso and back, exactly 50 miles, and uh, yeah, he, he wanted to finish up his time, we got it done, and uh, yeah, it was a good time, it was a good first experience, because that was also my first time flying the Seminole at night. I don't have, uh, I don't have any videos of that, I might have a picture or two, I don't know, just adjusting the RPM, it crept down about 20 RPM, I want to make sure that we're at the correct power setting. Approach 70 Gulf has Victor at the uh, Rail Creek. Had two calling at once here. Uh, which Sky Bronco was that looking for flight calling to Grand Rapids? Seven hundred thirty-two squad zero two one four. And it was the other aircraft calling answered. 7 0 Golf has Victor at Val Creek. Air 7 0 Golf, Roger, maintain VFR at or above 3,500. At or above 3,500, 7 0 Golf. 732, radar contact, two miles north of Marshall, maintain VFR, of course, the wrap is out to your discretion, now to layer 3000. Alright, so, so we're starting here in the Western Michigan, guys.
All right, so he wants us at or above 3,500. All right, I'm going to switch back to both because we are a little bit lower on the right than the left now. All right, yeah, so this is being filmed currently August 23rd of 2022. We are a little, we're just a, just under a week before the semester starts. I'm really excited for that. Uh, hope, excited to get my last semester done of school, and then I'm excited for this year to be able to work a little bit more. Hopefully get some multi-students and some instrument students. I currently have two privates and an instrument. Uh, and I'm all, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping to get some more students and uh, do some more learning myself. Because, I mean, truthfully, as an instructor, you're always learning. So, really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to this, the homework, but so be it. Uh, uh, one more semester I can think I can put up with. All right, about 20 miles, or about 27 miles out, about 20 miles out, we will uh, start descent in. Currently, we are restricted to 3,500 or above. Approach 7-0 golf. We're going to start down to 3-5. Thanks, 7 golf, ready. And what aircraft was calling with the UFO flight along your request? Starting to fix three, sir, request. Starting to fix three, squad zero, two, one, seven. All right, we're going to do a descent checklist. Descent checklist, power, mixture of so temperatures are set, 2,000 out to be selected. Right base for runway 35 at Kalamazoo, and remain outside. Select about both, CDI soft keys on GPS. Four lanes, seat belt shoulder harness is upright and secure. Fuel selective valve is both mixtures rich. All power is, is on for now. And lights as required. All lights are on. We got the I got seven zero golf traffic, twelve o'clock, four miles, opposite direction, altitude indicates two thousand six hundred. Traffic in sight five four er seven zero golf. 